Hello, my soccer universe, to this week's Bundesliga's review. Yes, I decided what I will um, dump down the, my review vi videos. I still want to try if I can make them in fives uh, and, you know, just talk about the games that I've seen and you will get the stats cast then uh, tomorrow. I think this might actually work. Now, after time, I will shoot them bang, bang, bang and ship them off. Uh, you can see I'm wearing Cologne. I actually changed the order. I put the background up there. I decided now to put kind of winners and losers. So not have the expected standings up there because you will get it anyway in the stats cast somehow. But, you know, on top there you get the team the best performers. I <laughs> Lask is up there, but they're not the best performers. Uh, if they would have at least gotten a win, I would have moved them uh, in this spot right here. And here you have losers and behind me it's... Uh, Freiburg actually did not do all that bad. But I think one, uh, one theme that I see in both leagues is that uh, teams that have kind of, kind of the big teams' favorites or traditional teams, uh, traditional powers, getting a little bit into trouble. Uh, we see in Austria we have the two Viennese giants plus Lusk. And in Germany we have Gladbach and Frankfurt who have recently been playing up there. We also have Stuttgart. Or we already have to look into it. Of course, other teams have no such trouble. Um, in Austria, I actually want to point out one uh, real fun game, and if you can see the highlights, it might actually be worth your time. Ried against Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg had a 3-0 lead by the 57th minute. Um, just clinically counter-attacking uh, football. However, luckily for Reed, they very quickly get one back in the 62nd and the 72nd uh, second they can... Um, make it 2-3 and then stoppage time they can eke equal so absolutely crazy game as for Lusk um, yeah travel you play in Klagenfurt uh, it was not a great first half however at the end it got a little bit better uh, and Goeginger makes it 1-0 just before halftime after the half they had at least two really good good chances especially one by Balic where I, I would say you would have deserved to make it 2-0 you were controlling the game at that point and then an absolute stupid back pass from the opposing half back to the goalie who has a blackout and takes the ball. So you have a free kick uh, inside the box uh, which gets deflected uh, by and then Greil, the, from the, the, um, the Greil schuss is deflected and it goes 1-1 and then it's the same story as uh, we have it uh, all season. Chances Dominance, uh, maybe, you know, even nice attacking movements where uh, we sure passes and so on, but you kind of see it going nowhere and then when you have the chances you don't convert. Yeah, Sturm Graz 5-0 over Tirol, uh, pretty do dominant and Salzburg's 2-0 win over Rapid uh, took a while uh, to get there, but to be honest, it was only a matter of time. Rapid was only there to destroy. Uh, it was an intense game, it had not many highlights, um, it was in a penalty that Adeyemi can convert, make up his demons from Seville, and then very late on when Rapid was actually pressing to get an equalizer Aronson on a counter-attack that Salzburg played in typical style, uh, makes it 2-0 in the 94th, and so um, Salzburg still had not lost any uh, points for... Uh, it's crazy. Uh, we have actually Rapid can come back. I think a big one will be Sh Rapid Sturm next round. I also will be going next round to see Las Mira in person with the family. We are looking forward to uh, that. In Germany, I uh, didn't see much. I want to point out that Hertha got a win. Hence, they, that was a big win. <laughs> Their expected points total had the biggest change of all of them. Uh, Augsburg beating Gladbach. Where did that come from? Uh, one of those results. I mean, the, I was happy that I didn't watch the co 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 conference, although I was not happy then, uh, you know, I watched La Liga, uh, Atletico against Bilbao. That, yeah. Bayern Munich saved the co conference with seven goals. And it was a fun, funny game because for 15 minutes, Bochum actually were doing uh, good, good things. Uh, having him two sh shots and goal, that's two more than Barcelona had in the midweek. But then, as soon as Sané, Kimmich, Gnabry, 
Uh, an own goal, it was 4 0 at the half, and Bayern, who are playing in this green Oktoberfest jerseys, actually, I have to say, they don't look bad. Uh, are the Bayern jerseys? Maybe not, but they didn't lo look bad. And then it's just Bayern completely taking Bochum apart, which I find funny in a sense because Bayern and Bochum, their friends, are twinned. Yeah, didn't uh, in uh, in all friendliness they uh, dispose of Bochum seven 0 Lewandowski came with two points that Lewandowski only got one and that was actually just a tap in. Yeah, uh, a real fun game was and that's why I wear um, Köln is was Köln Dynamo Leipzig. That was an intense game. It was a back and forth game. It ended only 1-1. It could very well have ended 4-4 as well. There were, I think, on both sides two goals disallowed, uh, all for offside or something. They were uh, penalty goals. It was intense. There were chances left and right. And it probably was the most colorful black and white matchup uh, that, that you will see because Köln played in white, but all their sponsors were in rainbow colors. And then Leipzig in the black churches had so much color on, on it that when you saw it from the back, yeah, it was black against white. But as soon as you saw it closer, it was actually quite uh, fun to see. As I say, Leipzig goal disallowed for the first half. Köln uh, also had a goal disallowed. Then in the second half, Modest scores one. Uh, and I think there, wa there was it was just fraction off of and a few minutes later, he makes it 1 0. And it would have been the third goal disallowed uh, of his, I think, even. And then it was, it came down to a, uh, I think it was Simaka. Uh, it, was it Zichos who came, who, who, who came in, who got the ball of Simaka and uh, was there a touch or not? Initially the referee had given uh, the foul, but then looked, looked at him VAR and there was hardly any touch there. I actually thought it was a good challenge. Yes, I'm not um, no, 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 no in this one, but Köln got the lead. And at that point, I think even the lead was deserved because at that point Köln, um, who had been an outstanding season under Steffen Baumgart, uh, really, really, really uh, were pushing Leipzig to, to the brink. But then Forsberg and Paulsen come in for Olmo and Andre Silva. Didn't both show much. And that changed, changed the game. Uh, a Forsberg goal was already allowed for a, a disallow for a very um, fra fractional offside. And then Haidara in the 71st made it 1-1. At that point, I actually feared that Leipzig will go on to uh, get the winner. They were then really, the last term is Leipzig was totally dominant. And then right at the dead of the game, um, uh, a humongous chance. I mean, it was a car car attack where um, the shot is parried by um, the, what's the key, the, by Leipzig keeper. I, I cannot find the name now. Directly the path of Duda, and he's so surprised by that. He has an open goal and he passes it back to, to the goalkeeper. That could have been the win. Would have been too much for Köln, to be honest. I think the 1 1 was well deserved, but what a game! This was really, 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 really fun. It was even uh, more fun that I was watching it together with my daughter. Uh, we were see, sitting on the couch, and you know, she asked me about uh, where is Köln and what is there to see. And you know, then and we suddenly talk, talking about World War One and World War Two, where I find my explaining myself explaining to a nine year old uh, world politics. What was a fun evening, I gotta say. Um, Stuttgart losing to Lever uh, Leverkusen, Dortmund, I think it was two Holland goals, 4-2, and Glasner's return to Wolfsburg. He was 1-0 up, again Lammers, who actually had already scored in the Europa League, made it 1-0, but then Wout Weichhorst makes it 1-1. And so it ends um, for, there is a Bavarian Derby, I, th I think there might be a midweek cup round. Uh, we have the uh, Borussia duel between Gladbach and Dortmund, which might be the best game of, uh, the, the game of the weekend coming up. Frankfurt Köln, for some reason, I find this also intriguing, as well as Leverkusen might. In any case, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, drop a line below if you want to see anything more. And yeah, um, I hope you like the new style and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.